going to be taking a look at 12 secrets and leaks will be happening throughout Season 7, and we're going to look at them early. Stick around to the end to see them all. With a primary focus on weaponry in this video, with every patch we'll obviously get more information on leaked skins that will be coming out in Season 7 as well. To make sure you're ready for those, pop in code Ali in the Fortnite store. You can also do it in the COD store as well, as a new season's kicking off in a few days. But thank you everyone that's doing that. I'll give you shout outs on screen right now. You guys are utterly awesome, and I love sharing you guys in my videos. And number one, cube grenades. These things are spotted within the season seven trailer. And oh boy, do they look cool. And guess what? They are really cool. Thanks to in-game information, we know how these things are going to work. And everything we'll be covering in this video will be coming out at some point in season seven, as early as next week, or even towards the end. We've got a lot to cover. The code name within the in-game file is Alpaca. It won't actually be called that when it comes out. And it creates a no gravity area when you throw it, with this whole season being space themed, there's going to be a lot of space things coming to the game. If you go within this no gravity zone and you decide to jump, you're going to fly up into the air and go extremely far. This can be used in two ways. One, for you to throw it down and launch yourself across the map, or to throw at enemies, get them stuck in a no gravity zone area and make them an easy target to shoot and take down. There's also an in-game tag specifically for this grenade that says gravity multiplier. It's potentially throwing down multiple of them at once, all in one area area could have some crazy effects. And number two, the plasma shotgun. A lot of people are forgetting that the teasers for this season contain weapons that aren't in the game at launch. They'll obviously be coming out soon, and one of the biggest ones is a brand new shotgun. It's actually from a set of weaponry that already exists within Fortnite Save the World. They have tons of weapons in Save the World, and this one's going to be coming over to Battle Royale very soon. Thanks to GKI, we can see it's in action within the Battle Royale map being shot and used, and then we can see more detailed use of it within Save the world with some clips thanks to Jess Graham. This space themed shotgun I cannot wait to use myself and give it a go with the potential effect of pushing enemies back and acting very differently to any other shotgun we've seen in Fortnite Battle Royale. It could massively switch up the meta and change the way we play Fortnite in this season. At number three, another weapon from teasers that isn't in the game yet. The good news is this weapon is going to be incredible, so when it does come out, it's going to be worth the wait. Its actual name in the in-game file is called the Cowinator. I'm not even joking. It was first spotted in the pre-season trailers, but could also be spotted within the season launch trailer as well, specifically being used by Rick from Rick and Morty with very unusual effects. It acts as an almost anti-gravity weapon where you can pick things up and launch them a little bit like the UFOs, except you're using a weapon that's literally in your hand. Now, with the weapon being as unique and as incredible as this, it obviously won't be easy to get. The effects and the things that we can do with this already seen in the trailer include chucking cars at gas stations, and the things that we've seen people pull off with the UFOs already have been incredible, so I can't wait to use this. It'll be bought specifically from Rick himself as an exotic weapon, and with the gold currency being very expensive this season to upgrade, to buy anything, so I'd expect not a lot of people to be able to buy this very often when it does go live, but the amount of fun things we can do with it will be incredible. Rick can be found just south of the center point of the Fortnite map, so make sure you've got that location locked in your head, ready for when this exotic goes live. And number four, if it was one part of the Fortnite map you never went to, what would it be? Have I guessed it right by saying Coral Castle? No offense to any Coral Castle fans out there, but that place doesn't get much love. And thanks to in-game files again, it seems it's going to be destroyed at some point this season. I, for one, will not mind that. Look, it's a cool place and all, but no one ever really goes there. And to see it transform this season, I think, would only be a good thing. It could potentially be destroyed by the giant mothership UFO that's currently above the map, which we'll be talking about later on in this video, as several things are going to be happening with it that will completely change the way we play Fortnite this season. If you're watching right now and you're like, yes, thank you, get rid of Coral Castle, hit that thumbs up button, show this video some love, let's see how many likes we can get for the rip of Coral Castle. 
At number five, I've got so many weapons for you guys, and the alien-themed weaponry does not stop here. In one of the loading screens for this Fortnite season, you can yet again see Rick. He's brought along with him many a tech and many a new inventions that will be rolling out this season. The Cowinator Rift Gun is not the only one. In this picture here, you can see him holding what looks to be a futuristic version of a minigun, and oh boy, does it look utterly incredible. It's currently got the code name Bad News, so you know it's going to be destructive when it's called that. It's a heavy weapon. The only thing we know about it so far is obviously how it looks in this picture, which is awesome, and the fact that when it's actually used in game, it'll be using the kill feed text zapped. Now, I think it's safe to say that a lot of the weapons this season use alien technology and futuristic technology that isn't just bullets. So zapping people sounds like it makes a lot of sense. Whatever ammo capacity it will use to zap people, it could be regenerative or it could be limited when you pick up the weapon. We'll have to find out. But yet another leaked weapon to add to our list of coming soon that I can't wait to try. And number six, again, something that was put right in front of us within the trailer for this Fortnite season is literal aliens themselves. Now, I've got a theory as to how these will come onto the map, which we'll discuss later on in this video. But yes, actual aliens. These can be seen in the Fortnite map flying towards players and they will go ahead and try and latch themselves onto you. Now there are green eggs that will hatch when you approach them and these parasite aliens will come out of those green eggs and that's when you need to watch your back. These things will try and go towards you, lock onto you, stick to your head, but whilst they're stuck onto you, you can still do actions. You can still move, you can still shoot, and the weird thing is they'll actually give you some boost. It's believed they'll actually give you speed boost and movement boost whilst they're on you, but they will suck away at your health. So the trade-off here is you take damage, but the good thing is you start to move around quickly, so it's annoying and good at the same time. The official description says, an alien parasite has attached to you. Enjoy enhanced mobility in exchange for some help. When they detach from you, it says alien parasites detach and ignore you for a few seconds if you touch fire, water, or enter a prop. If you thought we'd covered enough new weapons in this video, you'll be mistaken because there's even more. Make sure you've gone ahead and already clicked that subscribe button, turn notifications on to see all of this stuff that we're talking about in this video when it eventually goes live. Because at number seven, we have another new alien weapon. It ties into something I just mentioned. So one of the ways you can get those alien parasites off of you is by being a prop. But to become a prop, you can only talk to a few NPCs. It was Raz in the last season. And that's very unlikely you'd be able to do. But what if I told you there's going to be an alien prop gun? Yes, that's right. A gun you can carry around that will let you transform into a prop whenever you want. Once transformed using this prop gun, you can go around and be a bed, a car, whatever you end up transforming into to blend into the Fortnite map. But every 30 seconds, you will send out a notification to nearby enemies, be it a little audio soundbite or your item moves around a little bit, meaning you can't completely blend in and not move the entire match that would just be unfair. But a cool additional bonus to this prop gun is the ability to get those alien parasites off of you. And I can't wait to try out all of this alien technology as it starts rolling into the Fortnite world. With all of this alien technology coming to the map in the future, it begs the question, how and when will it arrive? Well, moving on to number eight, we've got secret messages all around the map, specifically the imagined order, AKA the IO, against the new arrival of the aliens. The IO are obviously trying to get rid of the aliens, get them away from the map and remove them completely. For a very good reason, in fact. And scattered around the map, you'll see a lot of markings with either the Imagined Order logo completely marked out or alien logos put on them instead. It's basically a huge feud that's going on right now. Are you Team Alien or are you Team Imagined Order? You guys can decide as well. I would probably team with the aliens for now just because it sounds really cool. But ultimately, the IO, the Imagined Order, are trying to keep this island safe, so I probably want them to win in reality. 
But what do all of these secret markings mean? Who's left them there? Well, if we head on over to Believer's Beach, if you haven't landed here or played much attention to it, you won't notice, but this is actually an arrival location welcoming in all of the aliens. That's right, seen again within the trailer for this season, a specific set of Fortnite players who have gone ahead and named the place Believer's Beach are welcoming the arrivals of the aliens and are very, very excited for it indeed. A lot of secrets can be found here, including a poster that seems to be setting up for an arrival party. We may get a mini in-game event or even some sort of concert that breaks out at Believer's Beach, welcoming the aliens onto the map. And if you head on over there, you can see party gear already starting to be set up. My editor actually spotted in replay mode a little bit of a glitch. We could see a lot of the strobe lighting already beaming up into the air, so I reckon something very important is going to go down here. What's that important thing? Well, at number 10, one of the biggest and most exciting things I have seen is the markings on the beach. On the beach is a circle which represents the Fortnite map, I believe, with several key nodes inside that that are connected together. This shape first of all draws out a 3D cube. We all know how important Kevin the Cube is and how much we talk about him but more importantly, backs up the drawings that we've been making now all the way since chapter one. Firstly, in chapter one, we started drawing this shape and connecting these dots together when the cube very first entered the map and left behind rune markings everywhere. Those shapes, once connected together, created the exact cube shape we're seeing on Believer's Beach right now. And this was replicated again last season with all of the mini spires that were dotted around the map as well. They were in the exact same location. There was a core central spire, and if you connected them all together, you got the cube marking we're seeing on the beach. And Fortnite have put this in the game right now. It's all connecting. The cube is going to return in some way. Trust me, I'll give you all a million V-Bucks. The cube is coming back in this Fortnite chapter sooner than we think, and it's going to be important. But first of all, at number 11, before we get carried away with the cube, what's more imminent is the actual danger of the aliens. Now, yes, the aliens have come along to the Fortnite map. They have blown up the central spire and they have started to leave the island. But what if I told you they didn't get what they wanted and they're going to start returning? Something I personally believe is not being talked about enough is this part of the trailer here. Once the alien mothership opens up its central compartment and goes ahead, lifts up the spire from the center of the Fortnite map, we all know what happens next, right? The spire gets utterly destroyed. However, what we need to pay attention to here is the top. This is where the zero point was. Now, everyone believes the zero point was sucked up into the mothership and they are off with a zero point. I do not believe this. I've gone ahead on YouTube and slowed this down to 0.25 and smoothing out this video clip even more and even slower. Take a closer look. We know the zero points at the top here. As this animation gets played, the zero point doesn't go upwards, it actually goes downwards. This needs to be played very slowly and very smoothly, but notice how the zero point shoots into the ground, not upwards into the alien spaceship. Now, why is this so important? Well, for many reasons. As we move on to last, but by no means least, number 12, the mother ship is moving. That's right. Whether or not the mother ship and the aliens just didn't realize at first, but they don't have the zero point on the ship, I believe. And as a result, they've started to set off and they're coming back again to try and get that zero point again. Galactus has tried to get the zero point. The monster in the monster versus robot event is trying to get the zero point. We need a stable zero point on the Fortnite island for everything to function. So the aliens trying to take it away from us is why the imagined order are freaking out so much. Currently, if you look at the Fortnite minimap, the alien spaceship is casting a slight shadow on the bottom part of the map. But I believe as it starts to come back over, that shadow will start to encompass the entirety of the Fortnite island and things will start to look a little bit darker. As the mothership returns again to try and get the zero point, a lot of things will be going down. More specifically, it will be sending out more bigger UFOs, at least bigger than the ones that are rideable right now, smaller obviously than the bigger mothership that's in the sky. Those will come out of the side compartments of the mothership and these will come down to the Fortnite map. 
thanks to some leaks, they will actually go ahead and abduct you and take you up into the Mothership UFO, where an exclusive area will be had where you can take down aliens, get weapons that won't be available anywhere else, and this ties into so many of the alien weapons we've talked about already, would make a lot of sense if the only way to get those alien weapons, including the prop gun for example, would be to get abducted and taken up into the Mothership where you can find all of that alien loot. If you want to know what's inside the Mothership right now, I managed to glitch into it. You can see that video on screen here. Click there to go and watch it. Thank you everyone for using code Allie. I'll see you on another video. Click one before I disappear. I hope you enjoyed.